It is a film creating critical acclaim and Oscar buzz, along with controversy and outrage. Now, before it's even hit the cinemas, Hollywood's latest comic book movie is facing a backlash for glorifying violent acts. Hello there, welcome to the channel. My name is Tyler, and today we're talking about what critics of the newest Joker film are refusing to acknowledge to support their idea that somehow this film is not only supporting violence, but glorifying it as well. And the main thing that critics are ignoring, which I believe they are intentionally ignoring, is that the main idea of this film is mental health awareness and mental health treatment. Now, I got the ability to watch this movie twice in theaters already, and I enjoyed it better the second time. So if you've seen it, go watch it for a second time. It's, it's just an amazing film, and I recommend it to everybody. If you have not seen it yet, Go watch it and come back to this video because there's going to be spoilers in this video. Now, what really bothers me about this criticism is the fact that the main idea is mental health. Because the same people who are would be strong advocates for mental health treatment and mental health reform are the people that are saying that this movie is bad for our society. And let me give you some specific examples from the movie that support my idea that mental health really is the focus and how Todd Phillips really is clear about this and not uh, trying to be hidden about it at all. So we're in Gotham at a time where the city's broke, everyone's poor, and the 1% are getting a lot of flack for it because they're not helping, which the public thinks that they can and that they should. So everyone's kind of struggling, and we're on board with Arthur, who is he's poor, he's upset, but he seems sort of functioning. We know through... Uh, the movie that he is on a lot of medication for mental health issues. He's been in, an, in a hospital for these issues before, and he's going to counseling for them. And that's all good and dandy until one day there's a cut in funding for the mental health uh, department, I guess, whoever controls it, and they can no longer give out medicine, nor can they give out counseling to their members anymore. And this is what I believe is the major turning point. Once he runs out of his medicine, there is a clear shot of him running out of his medicine, which is very deliberate by the director, Todd Phillips, to be shown. Everything starts going down the drain. And sure, he killed those, two, those three guys in the subway before he got off his medicine, but it was clearly out of self-defense, and... I don't think that this is nece that's necessarily the turning point. I think that him getting off his medicine is really the turning point because when he gets his medicine, he starts having delusions. Uh, he starts uh, being more confident, which allows him to go up on stage and do his comedy act. And we actually see that the laugh that makes him famous, the laugh that makes him famous is really the plot device for this entire film. Everything that goes wrong in his life is kind of due to this laugh that he has and really derails everything. So he starts going on this kind of insane rampage towards the latter half of the film. And this is very clearly due to his lack of medicine and his lack of help. So let me go to one scene in particular. Right after his mom dies, his buddies from his old work that he got fired from come over to try to cheer him up because they assume that, I don't know, they were just trying to be good friends and try to cheer him up because they seemed like the guys who would really uh, stick up for Arthur whenever he was working there. So they bring him a bottle of wine and he gets let in and Arthur tells the taller man, there's a small person and there's a tall guy, he tells the tall guy that he's off his meds and he feels, he feels better than ever. And him saying that he's off of his meds and then immediately after murdering the person is very, like, symbolic. And I think it makes a really clear point, and it's not dodging anything, that the med, him getting off of his meds is directly correlated to him murdering his friend. And then there's also a second dynamic in this scene where the little person is allowed to leave and Arthur does not kill him because he was always nice to him. And that's kind of calling out to the people who are watching this film saying, hey, 
be nice to people who may be struggling with things be nice to each other period and help each other if you notice that somebody is going through some hard times or mental health problems and try to get them help and it shows through uh the act that arthur did by not by sparing this uh person's life and he said that he's the only person who's ever been nice to him and that's really just clear it's not dodgy at all and the biggest thing that happens in this movie the most glaring thing is whenever he gets on the um, Murray show because of his terrible stand-up that he did. And he has this idea that he's going to die. So, of course, he becomes more popular because he says he has nothing else to lose at this point. But we need to note that his laugh goes away after he gets off of his medicine. This condition, this horrible condition that's kind of been the prop cause of all of his problems in his life has suddenly gone away after his medicine and that's not necessarily a good thing because while Todd Phillips the director is making the Joker seem more human he's making the Joker more sadistic and the great thing about this film is that you cannot relate to Arthur really in any way unless you're struggling with maybe the same things which is going to be a very 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 small minority of people you feel bad for Arthur this entire movie because he's sort of a protagonist you feel bad you want to help him there's obvious things in this film that people could have done that would have prevented all of this from happening but they were not taken and Todd Phillips the director makes it clear that there are steps that could have been taken to prevent the chaos from ensuing and that's the point that I'm making and that how is this film promoting violence when there is such a clear message? And that is mental health treatment. So he gets on the Murray show. And the last line that he says that I don't have the specific dialogue, but he says something along the lines of this. He says, what do you get when you abandon a mentally ill freeloader? And that from a system that rejects him or something along those lines. This is what you get. And then he shoots Murray in the head. And that is the most blatant line in cinema history of saying, listen to the call of this film. We need to address the mental health issue in our country, in our world. It is an epidemic and we need to do something about it. And we need to stop doing this cry for cry on, so on the media that gets more clicks because it's negative coverage. If the media and critics would have made coverage saying this is an amazing film that addresses mental health in our country, it would have gotten one-tenth of the clicks. And they know that, so they had this dialogue and they had this viewpoint that they need to be negative about a film so that it gets more attention and so that they make more advertising revenue. So that's my film theory, essentially. This is that's my points is that this film is about mental health and it's about mental health treatment. And it even goes down to the last second when Arthur is in the was in is in Arkham Asylum. And he's in the mental institute. And that is symbolic of where the system is at today. That without the help of the government, that is where mentally ill people wind up. They wind up in solitary confinement. In these mental institutions when it's already too late and we were not able to address the, the issue beforehand. So if you've noticed anything else, there are lots of other points that can be made in this film. If you notice anything that I missed, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know down below. I'd love to. I read all the comments. So I'd love to hear some feedback. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload. I appreciate you spending your time to listen to my rants, and I appreciate your presence. Thank you.